Hello, everyone. Um, what's in UKLA and for our final project, we have developed a family social media app called Familia. Now let's meet the team. My name is Carol Olomu and I'm a third year PhD student in the field of environmental studies. I came to the School of Code because I like to make a career shift into environmental software. Hello everyone, I'm Lorcan. I am a former forklift truck driver and enthusiastic coder interested in full stack development. Hi, my name is Wahida. I'm a maths graduate who's interested in coding because I love problem solving. So now I consider myself to have gone from solving equations to solving bugs. Hi, my name is Najma. My background is in primary teaching. I decided to learn how to code because I wanted to develop my creativity and my problem solving skills. Hi, my name is Tony. My background is business and project management, and I'm interested in coding because of the creativity allowance and the international opportunities it brings. Hello, all. My name is Mariano Quiroga. I'm an electrician, and I'm interested in coding because I would like to combine my electrical background with new technologies and broaden my problem solving skill. And now I'm going to tell you why we built this app. Uh, we came up with this app by thinking that social media doesn't provide the privacy and security that families want when sharing private moments online just with their loved ones. Um, because who would like to share sensitive information with countless contacts where they probably don't know the majority of them? Uh, having that question as a starting point, we decided to create an app that is personal, private, intuitive, and easy to use even for grandparents who wish to be up to date with pictures of their grandchildren. This uh, was thought to achieve by building a clean app that incorporates all the essential features like a gallery picture and a bio section where you can find meaningful and interesting data like medical contacts and shoe size among others. Plus a pretty easy way to log in and join your family. Um, the following slide I'm gonna present um, to you um, what was our lo-fi. You know, as you can see in the screen, this was our first visual, visual representation of our sign up page and the dashboard page using Figma as a prototyping tool. It helped us as developers and as a team to get the first understanding of the functionalities and designs that our future app at that time being was going to accomplish and share the same, the same vision. The following slide, it's our hi-fi, uh, which was our ultimate goal, uh, which helped us to identify the outline of the content and create a solid foundation for future steps of the design and functionality process. Uh, what you can see on the screen are the same pages previously shown in the lo-fi, but with a closer resemblance to our app right now. So now on, I'm gonna pass the presentation to Tony, who's gonna uh, do a live demo of our app. Thank you, Mariano. I will now take you through the app. So our app is called Familia, Familia for family. You can find it on Netlify at ukla.netlify.app. And our idea is to bring different generations together into one roof. So you can see the grandfather, the parents, the children, so all together communicating and exchanging information in one place. So we wanted this page to be as simple as possible, just a sign up login button, so not to confuse anybody. There's also, if they needed more information, a hamburger menu, uh, well known for being a place where you can read uh, um, more information about the app. So here, for example, we have a little explanation about what the app is about. There's also a little movie uh, showing off the main features, but let's not waste more time. Let's get in and sign up to our app. We use O0 and we encourage people to use Google uh, as their identifier, a Google account. 1.5 billion people have one, so it should be all right for our family members to have one as well. When we think about family, we could think also of family tree, and that's one of the core idea of our of our app is to link people through branches through a tree. So the first time they uh, they they join, they might create a tree as a family, and then the next time they will join a tree, or the next family member will just join a tree and uh, put the name of the family they want to uh, to join. In our case, we are joining the Darcy family, and this page will only be shown once 
once you've selected a, a tree, you don't need to see this page and it will automatically forward you to the dashboard where we are now. So the dashboard is the central place where all the information and all the features are presented. Um, one key area that uh, our users are interested in is sharing messages and pictures. So that's what we do exactly here. There's in the central part a message box. We can upload a picture as well. So let's pick one. That's this one. And it will be presented in our feed, which all the family members can see. And as well, I can see all the messages from other family members. And if we see uh, here we can like the picture, we can like the message, um, we can also delete it if we made a mistake, it's fairly straightforward. The picture can be increased in size in a new tab if they wanted to see a bit clearer what's, what's being shown. And also these pictures are automatically saved in the picture gallery that the family shares. So the one we just uploaded is here and the one we just saw is there. Another activity family members uh, might find interesting to, to do is to tell others about events that are coming up. So grandma's birthday is happening very soon. So we'll just update the family and tell them the family dinner will be on the 19th and it appears here. Once this is done, we just click on it and clear the event and the event board is clean. We can add as many as we want in here. A key idea is to share information about the family members because we might want to give a present to somebody that has a birthday coming up. So we need to know maybe their size of dress or size of shirt or size of trousers. So here we have a section, the profile of the user, which presents everything that we might be interested in. This is filled in by the user himself or herself and can only be edited by that person. Myself, I have a profile, for example. And it's quite bare at the moment, so I can add some extra information. I will say I'm a male, for example. I can also delete my profile, which will remove me from the family. Click Submit. And now I'm a male. And it only displays the information I want to, to display there. And finally, the idea of our app is to link people through a tree. So the tree is presented here. So as you can see, at the moment you don't see much because I'm not connected to the family exactly, but others are. So if I look for Mary that we were dealing with a moment ago, Mary is the daughter of Elizabeth and Fitz and the granddaughter of Marinette. And if I click on her profile, we can read the same information that we saw earlier. And let's, let's add me to this family tree. So I'm just here. I will click on add relationship. I will pick my name. And I will say I'm the father of Marinette. So I will be the great grandfather of Mary. I click on submit and refresh the page. And now if I look for Mary, I will find her here. And you can see next to Marinette, there's a little tree. If I click on it, I will appear as a father. So that's the idea, the tree linking people, the information, and linking our app and sharing information between all numbers. I will now pass on the, the floor to KV. Thank you very much for that demo, Tony. Now onto our tech stack. In, our, in this project, we brought together all the technologies we learned in details on the course, as well as some newer ones. On the front end, we decided to use Next.js in order to create a fast loading multi-page app with search engine optimization. We built a quick, easy to use backend in Express connected to a cloud database on Heroku and an image bucket on Cloudinary. During our app development journey, our first step was the Disney ideation process, which encouraged us to generate a number of ideas, evaluate how feasible they are and construct a plan of action. During our dream room phase of generating ideas, we did not discuss the feasibility of the feature and neither did we prioritize one over the other. This allowed for more creative outlet and was one of the main reasons the family tree, which is one of our, which is one of our more unique features was added to the app. However, in our critic room where we judged how attainable a feature was and which of these should be considered MVP in order to quickly create a functional app for users. Our next step in our journey was then, was then thinking who are our main users. 
and we decided it's the family. And so we developed various user personas who play different roles in the family. And what we gained from visualizing users is that the different age groups means that the website needs to be easily accessible. The color scheme and previous technology knowledge also has to cater to the older generation as well as the younger generation. To understand our users even more, we carried out a survey that would highlight the features that different roles in the families value more than others. This resulted in the family tree, uploading pictures and the feed to be the top three features that were desired in which we can now successfully deliver to the users. Overall, this helped prioritize our key features that would help offer an experience that's different to other websites, as well as helping us adjust to the features we first considered to be our MVP. Agile methodologies were a significant aspect of the success of our project. We had daily stand-ups where one person would take lead of group planning for the day. Our stand-ups include the group lead to prepare a plan of the day, which highlights scheduled tasks that we aim to work on. We also updated our Kanban board each day, which aided our teamwork as it allowed us to split work successfully between groups. One of the main tools that also aided our teamwork was our sprints and the use of the Kanban. The sprints allowed us to split work between pairs and see how much progress the other pair had made in real time. This allowed us to communicate efficiently and not waste time. Our sprints lasted a day, however, every two hours we would do a stand up where we would check in on each other, make decisions and ensure we all understood the full scope of the project. We completed a retro at the end of each day where we came back together as a group of six and reflected on our task for the day. The retro included us completing our four L's. This is what we liked, learned, longed for or lacked. We also discussed any leftovers, updated our Kanban and planned ideas together for the success, for the success of the following day. Most days we split into groups of two to three to work on separate branches. Early on in the project, we decided to merge branches as a team. This gave us an opportunity to see what stage of the branch that we needed to fix merge conflicts collaboratively. And now on to testing. So as we developed more features for our app, our backend design became more complex. We decided to create tests for our most utilized routes with SuperTest. We tested that each route successfully responded to a request, returning an object to the expected shape. This meant that we could make a change on the backend and know exactly what knock-on effects had occurred, if any. Moving on to our challenges. Through this past month, we've learned so much about working in the tech team. One challenge we faced was to recognize what was achievable in four weeks. Our initial MVP contained many features. And one week into the coding, it became clear that not all of our planned features would be completed on time. As a team, we then scaled back our MVP, keeping the core features that we felt defined our app, family tree, the posts and the gallery. Also, we've learned the benefits and limitations of using external packages in our software. After research, we found a package that best suited our needs when displaying the family tree. However, the package was not directly supported in Next.js. Through research and experimentation, we found a solution that worked in our chosen tech stack. Finally, how can we um, for the develop um, familiar? We could follow develop familiar by um, we could follow develop the app by gathering user data, as it would measure the growth of the app from the perspective of the user and keep the user at the forefront of our mind when deciding future aspects of the app. In addition to this, we can implement user testing to evaluate the current state of our app. This will help us fully understand the user experience as well as pinpoint areas and opportunities for performance optimization and support data driven improvements for the app. Given more time, we could make the app more responsive so that it is suitable across various devices. As our app takes in private information, we would make the app as secure as possible so that our users feel reassured that their data is protected. Possible extra features include a chat feature to increase communication among users, as well as a wish list, a wish list feature so that buying presents for other family members become an easier process. Overall, our extra features, features intend to make the familiar app as interactive as possible to enable users to create a connection between themselves and the app, as well as um, a closer connection to their family. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation today. You can check out the app uh, on the link provided in the slide.